Hello my crafty loving friends. Welcome to Purpose My Way. I'm Shelly. Today we're going to take this uh, candle holder from Goodwill that I got a while back. It says $4 on it. I don't know if I paid half price or full price, but either way I really like the bones of this and it's made of metal and it's got some uh, like grapevine wreath underneath and then some of this greenery and berries that they're just falling out and they look pretty tired. But I knew that I could do something with it and I was waiting for the right piece to come along. I found this really cool tray. I love this and I love the legs on it. They are just so cool. I, I just love the shape of this piece. And as soon as I saw it, I said, I hope this will fit on there. If it doesn't, I'll make it fit. So I brought it home and they fit together perfectly. So I'm going to use some of this E6000 and put it on the bottom along with some hot glue. So the E6000 will be uh, a strong hold, but it takes a while for it to dry and really take hold. So I'm going to use a little bit of hot glue to do an immediate hold on it so that I can start working on it right away and not have it move around as much. So I'm just going to glue that right down in the middle of this tray. And I'm just so excited I found and I can't wait for you to see the end result. It came out so pretty. So I have a bunch of floral from Dollar Tree and some stuff that I ordered and uh, I just grabbed a bunch of it together. All the pieces that I had left over from different projects and decided that I would use them in this project to see what I could come up with. So I really wanted to incorporate the greenery that I have here. This is kind of a, a hanging swag uh, and I cut it. There was three pieces to it and I cut it. And I wanted to incorporate this into this centerpiece that I'm going to make. So I glued one end to one end of my centerpiece and then I'm just going to kind of drape it along the bottom to fill in and I just love the different color variations that this creates and uh, it's like a base layer that I'm that I'm kind of giving it here so I really love this it's soft and it's easy to move work with and move so this is going to work really well for the base of my centerpiece so just glue one end and then up around underneath and then I'll take some of the strips later on and just kind of work them in and out of um, the different things that are already in the centerpiece. I tried to keep what I could and then any berries that fell off uh, since I got it, and I've had quite a handful, uh, I've saved them so that I can put them back in and use them as filler. So here I'm just, like I said, I'm just kind of weaving some of these little green branches in and out and taking some of my berries that come loose and gluing those in. And as you can see, I have a few there. But I also have some of this I got at Dollar Tree, I'm pretty sure. It's like wheat, kind of, and I wanted to incorporate that. You know, just anything for texture, um, anything that would bring it out and make it bigger or wider and then I'm also later on going to work on stuff that I can put in there to make it taller just fuller you want to fill it in so you just start with what you have and you just keep working at it so I have some of this other greenery as well this is also from Dollar Tree I believe and I'm just taking pieces off that I like and the varying colors and just sticking it in there stuff that will colors that will complement each other and uh, you know, just again bring height and width to the centerpiece. So this is the handful of berries that I have just fallen off this poor thing. It was really beat up pretty bad, but I just love the candle holders uh, that go along the top of it. There they go, uh, the tall one in the middle and the two shorter ones on the sides. And I knew this would make a great holiday centerpiece. So there we go. We put the berries in there and I picked up these pine cones off the ground uh, at a local place that I was shopping at. I went out and they were on the ground and they were all closed up. So I brought them home and put them in the oven for a while. I put them in front of the 
our wood stove and they opened right up overnight. The heat just opened them right up and uh, just um, made sure there was no bugs in them. And now I'm going to incorporate them into this centerpiece. And just adding them where I think I need a little extra. Uh, maybe bigger holes in that that I want to fill with something bigger like a pine cone instead of just a sprig of flowers. So once I have that I'm looking at it and I'm just finding spots that look like they could use some more height and just to look fuller just fill it in I don't want to see any holes and I think this is really coming together so beautifully. It went from just such a drab piece to I think pretty fab if you ask me but um, I think anybody would love to have this on their holiday table, whether it be Thanksgiving or Christmas or whatever you choose. I think it would be great. So I have some of this uh, burlap ribbon that's pretty wide, so I decided to cut it to the size that I want and then cut it in half, and that way uh, when I glued it in, it kind of looks like I took ribbon and kind of weaved it in and out of this um, centerpiece that I have here. I have these beautiful candle timer lights from a company called Bright Town. They sent me a nine pack of these. They come like that and I will have links down in the description on them. Uh, they are battery operated. They take two AA batteries and they come with a remote and they're all different sizes. The sizes go from nine inches to down to five inches. So uh, it, they're a lot of varying heights here. So I used the three smallest ones and I put those onto my centerpiece along with a bow and then I just have the other ones out so that you can see what they look like and I think they're just beautiful lights they're very nice quality they come with a remote and directions on how to use them So the remote works great. You have an on and off switch for the remote. You just switch them on at the bottom of the candles and then you can control it through the remote control. It has um, a candle option or just a light option. So the candle flickers and the light just stays still uh, and it's beautiful either way. You also can control your time. There's two, four, six, and eight hours it will run. And also you can lighten it and make them not so bright. And you can uh, make them nice and bright the way they were originally when I started. So there's lots to these candles and they're beautiful. And they're actually a great price when you break it down. They're about $3 a piece. They're great quality. I really love these candles and I'm gonna buy some more I believe. So they come all wrapped beautifully and with this plastic on this nice thick plastic around them to keep them from scuffing and getting scratches so you just peel those right off and you can use them in your decor. This project was a lot of fun. I found this paper on Zazzle. It is just of uh, old time pictures that say Merry Christmas, Noel, 
uh, and some of them don't say anything. They're just uh, old pictures, and I had to get this so that I could use this in some of my Christmas decor. And I will have a link down in the description on uh, how to get that this paper also. So I took some of my uh, material that I have and I am going to cut it down so that I can fit this picture over the top of it. And I just cut it and, and uh, rip it so that I can have some frayed edges because that is what I want. So I'm taking some of my antique wax watered down and I'm just going to take a brush and go over it to darken it. I could tea stain it, but I really didn't want to get this soaking wet because I wanted to use it right away. So I just thought I would um, just darken it with some of that wax and it works just fine. I used my heat gun to dry it a little bit and then I'm adding some Mod Podge so that I can add that piece of decoupage paper right over the top. I smooth that out and I'm taking some Mod Podge and going over the top of my decoupage paper and the material and I'm just um, sealing it in. And then I have this bucket that we used. This was for uh, a candle out on the deck and we used it all up in the candle. We threw it away because it was all done and uh, I wanted to use the bucket for something so I decided I would use it as some Christmas decor. So I'm giving it a brush of burgundy, not a full coat, I'm just um, kind of lightly brushing it on there, covering it a little bit and then I will hit it with the heat gun and dry it just a little. So I'm adding some Mod Podge to the front so that I can affix my uh, decoupage picture onto that. And I'm just making sure I have enough on there so that it will fit and get fully covered. So I'm just sticking it on there. You could use hot glue if you wanted to, but I had the decoupage out. Uh, I'm sorry, I had the Mod Podge out and I had my, my brush ready to go, so I just... Uh, figured I'd use that and it worked just fine. So I'm just going over it with a thin layer of the Mod Podge to seal it in and making sure I hit all those edges so that they stay down nicely. Now I decided I like the bucket but I wanted a little more rustic looking and to match my uh, decoupage paper on the front which is a little more brown um, and rustic colored so I took some of my watered down antique wax and I put it on the bucket just painted it on there and then dried it a little bit with my heat gun and then wiped what I could back whatever wasn't dry and I think it gave it a more rusty uh, dark look to it you can still see the tin bucket through it but you also have some of these other colors between the burgundy and the um, the antique wax just kind of kind of giving it a, a, a rustic look. So I just put that all around and I just heat it a little bit to make most of it stick and then I wipe it back. And as you can see, it's just a little bit darker. So I really like it. I think it looks great. I have this tree on a base that I really love. It's got some little pine cones in it and I wanted to use this in my bucket. So I'm just giving it a little fluff. And then I also got some uh, fairy lights, string lights from Bright Town as well, the same company that sent me uh, the tall candle lights with the remote. And they sent me a 12 pack of these to try and these are great. I love the color, just like in the the other lights. I love the color, the, the yellow uh, soft white color of these is just beautiful and it goes really well with my decor and how I like to decorate. And so I just spun that right around that little tree and it fit perfectly. And the little remote, uh, I kept a little bit of a line out for it so it would go out over the bucket so you could switch it on and off. Now these are timers, so they will stay on once you switch them on and they'll go off after so many hours. And then they'll come back on the next day 
at the same time that you switched them on the day before. They work really great that way. I love them. So I glued the little tree to a, the piece of foam in the middle of my bucket that I had already glued down as well. And uh, now I'm taking the a little bit of, it's packing paper. It's like an off-white packing paper and I have some of it from an order that I had. So I used that, put it in around the tree and just fluffed it up to give it, just so you could see it and just make it look really cool. And there we go. Put a little rusty star on the top and this guy is done. This is a bucket that I have. I've had kicking around the house and I've used it just to put things in. I have a, another Christmas tree that was like the last one and I wanted to do something a little bit different with this bucket. So I'm just gonna show it to you guys what I do with it. I'm just taking some black and red ribbon and I'm gonna go around the outside of this uh, all the way around. Once that's glued on, I make a quick bow, just folding it over and then tying it in the middle with a little bit of my floral wire. I make sure my bow is the size that I want. And oversized is okay on this because that's all that's going to be for decoration for the most part. Um, this is just going to be a really simple little tree and stand for it. So there I'm just tying that up really tightly in the middle and then I'm going to glue that to the front of my bucket. And just trim my tails a little bit and I'm going to cut them. And then I want to, once I do that, I'm just going to fluff it up. But then I want to add my Christmas tree. So I add my piece of styrofoam that I got and or floral foam. And there is the package of the lights that they sent me from Bright Town. Um, so very nice of them to send these for me to try out, and I just love them. So I'm doing the same as I did with the last tree, and I am wrapping them around. And I also used some of that packing paper uh, in this one, but I decided to take some tissue paper that I had that said Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. It's uh, just a red and white tissue paper and I thought I would put that around to just make it look a little bit different. And I'm just tucking that in and kind of making it look like a loose scarf that you would put around your neck just to make you look stylish. Added a rusty star and some pit berries and it's all set. like my projects today let me know down in the comments if you have a favorite check down in the description for any links that I have and any discounts that I have for any of the projects that I use today in this video so thanks for watching please don't forget like share and subscribe and have a great day